The physician-patient relationship is changing, as is the concept of medical professionalism. Is it time to redefine what we mean by medical professionalism, and how will that affect your relationship with your doctor? Dr. Gary Pettit presented a lecture on those questions during a 25th anniversary program for the Center for Practical Bioethics. Doctor, you entitled your pr presentation, Professionalism, What's Trust, Not Truth, Got to Do With It? What did you mean by that title? Well, I entitled that specifically because I think the final common denominator in the physician-patient relationship is trust. It's what brings the physician and patient together. It's what fosters a collegial relationship and what fosters a healing and caring relationship. So the virtues that one brings to it, I think, filter down to trust and, and trust in one another. Because of the increasingly complex healthcare environment, has the concept of professionalism changed? I'm not sure the concept of professionalism has changed as much as the concept is really fairly new. It, it's come upon us in, in the last 20 years. Its elements, however, go back uh, almost three millennia to the ancient Greeks and the Hippocratic physicians. Uh, of Greece. So it brings elements forward into what I think is a new paradigm that describes the physician patient relationship in a complex medical environment. Now, cost is so critical in this environment now. Isn't that a consideration physicians and patients have preferred to avoid? Well, cost is is an important issue, but cost, uh, it's more one of value. Uh, do you get the value in healthcare for the dollar spent? And I think when that decision is made by a physician and a patient together, and where it's based on uh, evidence of effectiveness and on patient values, then the cost will be as low as they can be and still have the value for the patient. Now, the idea still is to have the patient-centered approach, isn't it? It's absolutely a patient-centered approach. Um, it's a uh, participative approach, but it's always focused on what is the best interest of the patients. The deliberations are around defining exactly what the patient views are his or her best interest. With a redefined notion of medical professionalism, how will that change tomorrow's physician and his or her approach to patients? Well, number one, if we can renew or reinvigorate this level of trust and this level of collegiality, we'll probably reduce things like defensive spending for medicine, uh, we'll foster uh, more trustworthiness among physician and patient, um, and will lead to a, a more participating patient in the healthcare environment. Healthcare reform, in whatever form it is, assuming that it does happen, will this force some change one way or the other? Uh, it, that's a hard shot to call right now. There are competing bills in the healthcare reform. It, it depends upon how those work their way through. Uh, Congress. The health care reform right now is focused predominantly on increasing access to care. A and I'm afraid that if we simply increase access to care without addressing some of the issues about uh, workforce size and the ability of physicians to actually spend quality time with patients, that health care reform probably won't have a significant impact uh, on the issue. Dr. Gary Pettit is a neonatologist and a fellow at the Center for Practical Bioethics. For more information about his lecture on November 10th, 2009, go to the center's website at practicalbioethics.org. That's practicalbioethics.org. Thanks, Dr. Pettit. Thank you.